All right guys, so Steph and I are gonna go and we're gonna show you how we just kind of walk through the video and we decide what we're going to do with our booth because the booth needs attention. It's not where I want it to be. It's not where we want it to be. Um, we both have some ideas of what needs to get out of there and what needs to go in there. Um, and I think we're getting close. I think the setup is 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 proper for this size of booth. I think we're uh, displaying our items and we're not locking them up, um, which is very crucial when you want bigger sales. So let's take a look at how we're gonna walk through this and the changes we're gonna make. We're just gonna again, give you some, uh, we're gonna be a little more transparent on how we do that with our booth. So let's take a look. So Steph's gonna hold the camera. I'm gonna run through the booth here. Um, so we're okay with this, okay? This is kind of new for us. These are the records and we're okay with the way the records sit. Here though, doesn't match what's here. So we're gonna try to make this more uh, pulp culture-ish, like maybe rock stuff uh, through VHS tapes, some CDs, different things. We got shelves here we could do. We don't know exactly what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, um, but I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this more rock-related, country, like music-related, and, and maybe even some film related stuff too. Like maybe we'll, like we got a guy just around the corner from us here. He's a couple booths over and he does records, VHS, cassettes. And I don't want to be a competitor to him. Records, you know, everybody has the right to sell what they want. I get that. But again, we can do stuff online. I don't want to get into that too much. But right here, you know, maybe some posters or different things up in here. I think we're going to have to leave this the same. People don't really look up a whole lot, and at the same time, they don't reach up a lot, and it's more of advertising, things that don't move or slow movers. We're okay with that. This definitely shouldn't be there. We were pressed for time. We're not open until, you know, middle of May at the, at the very best. So... We're, we're okay leaving it there, but we're going to move this over to the other side. This has been for a while. We got it way too high priced. Was hoping for something. Uh, someone would come in, really like it, and would pay that price. It didn't. It didn't work out. So that's fine. We're going to move this. We're going to reduce the price and move that over. These are cupboards for a, U <clears throat> for a Hoosier cupboard cabinet. Now, we sold two of them. Um, so they will sell, but they're taking a little bit of time. I think we're going to clear this up, and we're going to put more maybe rock related stuff here too just kind of have this whole section uh that that built up that way and it would all relate now these guys here milton and Hol hamilton you can see there a little poster these guys are comedians they're canadian community uh, comedians from the 80s they used to be very popular you can check them out they even do have some stuff on youtube a couple of videos uh this is signed and that's why we're putting it there but um it's been there for a while, so it's going to take the right person to come by. And in fact, that might be something we have to take this out and put that online. Um, even though it's not too far from us, Hamilton isn't. We have a lot of people from Hamilton come in. Um, it's it's really just sitting there. What are we going to do here? So this needs to be cleared up. People do not look up that much, so you have to be very careful with what you put there. The Coke's not too bad. It's red. Um this could probably go over to the camera area because it is a, a 70s leather carrying case for cameras. That might be better online too. Uh, it's been in the booth for a while. This here hasn't been too bad, like you're too long, but it's up high and people might not feel comfortable bringing that down. So we're going to probably put this lower, leave things, uh, you know, move things around a little bit here. These two things have been sitting in there for a while. These are a mint ship, Fritz and Floyd. I do not, do not know why they haven't sold at their price. They're very cheap right now. So we're going to bring those up, put those online. Stuff like this can get out of there. This is another Fritz and Floyd. Some of that stuff has sold, so that just might be a long tail item. But some of this stuff just needs to come out of the booth, set it up for yard sales, that kind of thing. So we're going to continue along here, and we'll... You know, I really like this duck. It's, you know, like a roasted pan... Uh, what would you call that? Casserole dish. Casserole dish. I don't know why. It's in great shape. We got that on auction with a bunch of stuff. So I don't know what we got in it. It's definitely priced to sell. Um, but people aren't looking at that for whatever reason. So some of this stuff we're just going to have to uh, play around with. Some's going to come out. There's a nice piece of chalkware, Carnival Prize. 
Um, so that can stay. I, I think we only got like eight bucks on it or something like that. So it's not too That's bad. Cute. And uh, we're just gonna switch this around. You always have to do that with your booth. It's very important. Um, again, some of the stuff has been around there for a while, but with the COVID, it's really hard to judge you know has it really had time like michael jackson stuff we we couldn't keep it in the booth at one point and now this seems to be sitting but is it sitting because people aren't coming in because of covid hard to say this again was set there it's not going to be there much longer it's in the in wrong place but the hats are depleted we need to fill that up we got tons of hats we're going to fill that up um these galvanized pails we got a bunch here at home a lot have sold so we're going to take this here we're going to fill this up kind of have this a farm look um with tools and different things this it, i don't know why this hasn't sold this is a great uh ladle um and uh the tools you can see have been depleted there so we need to fill that up we're going to jam this with our tools and uh and figure that out. Someone was asking what this price here, I think we got 85 or 95 on it mm. in the booth right now. Um, might be slightly high, 75, but it's got such a good base and that's why we kind of put it around 95. And we paid up a little bit for it too, but again, it ended up being a bundle. So when they ask for a certain price on that, they feel they're getting it. But when we bundle it up, I feel we're getting it cheaper. So. Um, it's all a matter of interpretation. This here is relatively newly stocked and placed there. So we haven't, maybe a week or two we've been open since we did that. So we're probably going to leave that alone. Um, that chair needs to get out of there. I think somebody put that in there and was reading some books or something possibly. I don't know. This needs to be completely jammed. This is really depleted. You can't tell, but there's lots of rooms, lots of books that sold. That's it for car magazines. We have 500, so now we got to jam it full. Um, I, I guess I see one down there and stuff, but we need to jam it full um, with with that. Uh, cameras, we don't really have a lot left. Um, we'll, we'll, tr we'll try to fill this up with cameras again. We're just filling the shelves, so those don't need to be there. We can do something else with those. Um, you know, we'll just have to play around with it, but that's wrong spot. This can go over to the other side maybe this can stay there because it's kind of photo related this here kind of a shot in the dark we thought that was really neat stuff found it actually in the uh, thrift store only a couple bucks on it under 10 for sure we're gonna bring it we're gonna put it there because it has some nice stuff here but it's a homemade dream catcher um I just thought it was really neat and cool and we don't got a lot on it probably 30 bucks so um it should go we're gonna leave this shelf up top the way it is that's our uh a way of doing without hanging a ton of pictures we can just put them up there and again i don't know how successful that's going to be because we haven't been open long since we did that maybe a week um so we just put those in there here we're wasting a lot of space there's a lot of space wasted up here so these are going to come out i think we're going to put these in plastic bags these are slot cars uh again we've only had those in for maybe a week and then we had to close down so we'll have to change those up put the slot cars in little uh, plastic bags and we're going to throw them in at the front we just put this in there this is coming out this is better to sell online and nobody's looking at it on the booth this is horrible i'm disgusted with this this is really making me want to vomit um to say the least i do not like this at all uh this all has to come out the only thing i kind of like is this here and i think we're going to try to sell it online because people just don't understand the pewter and I don't mind these here. These are little creamers and we got a buck or two or something like that on them. But this has to be dealt with properly. This is just as a mess. Um, and again, it's stuff we got at auctions. Like this here, We this is probably a quarter of what we had. And these are corn flour, flour patterns. Now I'm really happy with the sold, but I don't like it in this area. This needs to go somewhere out to the side. Somebody's looking for that, they'll come and pick it up. These things here, I'm not even sure of these either we picked them up for two bucks nobody wanted them maybe we'll sell them online maybe we'll put twenty dollars and sell you know six for twenty bucks or something to that degree i don't i don't know 100 percent. i guess we would have two so maybe we'll these are to go online these are like a smoke glass crystal or something like that but they're just not not even it's just waste of space um this is the improper record player for there we have some really nice yamaha luxman really nice uh oh, what's the other one um dual 
record players, these should be in our booths. Um, they're just sitting in our room collecting dust right now, so we really got to change that up. Um, I like the folk art stuff. That's okay. Hasn't really had a chance here. This has been sitting around for a while, but takes up no room, and I like the folk art stuff. Um, the sign print is really not real. It's just kind of like a decor piece, and art does not sell. Love the owl. He hasn't had a chance to, to meet anyone yet. Uh, if you watch Craigslist Hunter, he had one. He sold it. I've had another one that sold. Uh, it was completely, the paint was all gone. It was somebody decor, put it outside in their garden as decor. And the weather completely took all the color off. Uh, and it had a big hole in the bottom. I still got 30 bucks for it. So we got 80 bucks on that guy there. But this, um, the top's not too bad of that shelf. Hang on, hang on. There we go. The top's not too bad. That's relatively new. But I think better stuff can go on the top, and then we can bring some of this other stuff down. But that really has to be changed. This here has to be changed as well. Things are in there that doesn't really that don't really need to be in there, and our prices are really high for this uh, for this store. Um, I got a really high price on this. I was thinking about bringing some nice stuff in, but nice stuff doesn't mean it's going to sell because if I can get 150 online, I'll be lucky to get 60 out of the booth. So that is. I don't know why I brought that in. It was kind of like showing off something with a ridiculous price, and it was unnecessary. This is okay. Some of the things are okay, but they have to be changed. Um, those pipes, they've not been in there long. Things like this do need to stay in there because these will break. They're very delicate as it is, especially if they're on hinges. Um, that's fine. But some of this stuff does not need to be in there. Um, any comments, Steph? right now? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think you pretty much have nailed this. I think we do need to change a few things around. We've got a lot of really nice things to bring into the booth. I think we just do need to watch the prices that we put on them for sure. Well, it's, the, it's all about the prices for a booth, to Definitely, be honest with you. Definitely, for sure. So this here, I don't know if it needs to be in there or not. I'm not 100% sure. It's old. It's 1939. Or, or is it 39 or older? 34. It's 30 something. But anyway, it's a very delicate book. Nobody even knows what this is. This is something that has to go online. This should be out so people could see it, but I don't want the piece. I don't want them taking it in and out because inside the box is a little bit rough, but inside it's completely mint. Um, so I'm probably going to have to leave that inside or, or move that to online. A couple game boys there i was gonna bring a lot of game stuff in i don't know if i'm going to or not it's it's a struggle i'm with all the time these books are online sales nobody's gonna pay 125 for those books online they will um so what do we got here we're gonna keep going um we, we're gonna try some plush in here just because it's mario we're just gonna see it i normally i wouldn't um we we talked to robert zombie uh what was that guy's name zombie bargain hunter uh it was really good interview he does well with plush we're gonna try a little bit in the booth but that's it we're not bringing a whole lot in at one shot um this doesn't seem to be working i don't know why we've moved it around a few times it's very cheap but it's a nice little piece this is new but some of this just has to be moved it has to be categorized i think these kind of things should be on the other shelf on the different look and in here we're just going to fit little knickknacks so it needs to be needs to be adjusted and some of the things need to be brought out so kind of just giving you an idea of what we do um it's a constant battle it really is what goes online what goes in the booth you know if you're going to sell it for 200 online do you sell it for 30 dollars in the booth of course not right so it has to be you know something you're constantly struggling with um so you know you don't want your booth all all garbage stuff that you can't sell online you want a mix match of uh you know because people will will buy like old rusted tonka trucks and then they'll fix them up themselves that kind of thing so you know you can get them relatively cheap and you sell them relatively cheap but you still make five ten fifteen dollars um on that as well this whole thing is uh set to be changed that's why it's half empty these are just there right now these are all temporary this is not what that's going to look like i haven't decided 100 percent on uh what is going to end up looking like here but you want decent stuff because this is your this is the front of your booth so you got to make sure good stuff is in there and uh you know we're going to do that soon so anyway so we're almost done here guys 
Hope this isn't boring because the last video we've, what are we doing? Oh, I'm going to the other side. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so here's some more stuff. Um, just running through it. Now, I like this as a middle piece here. Um, we can we can display more things up top. I don't know if it's looking as, as good as I thought or was hoping it would, but it's okay. Um, again, it's the items here that are disturbing me. Um, it's just not... It's just not what I, we should be selling. We're trying to get rid of stuff rather than being sellers, and that's not the way to run the booth. Um, now these things, even though the parts are repairing, they're kind of garbage in a way, and we did get them out of a garbage bag. These are still very collectible, and I knew they would be a hit. It's just because they're not working. I had to put fourteen ninety five. Um, I remember showing Adam them, and he, he Adam them, and he said put nineteen ninety five, and I think he could have been more correct. Maybe they wouldn't have sold, maybe they would have uh, in that, but they haven't been there that long. So 1995 could have been the deal. Anyways, people will use those as decor and people could use those for multiple reasons. Um, those aren't very high-end swords at all. They're more decor pieces. I've sold them before, so I don't mind putting them in the booth. Um, you know, not everything's going to be a home run $100,000 thing. You have to fill it up with a mix match of, of stuff. Um now these here, we'll see how they do. I've uh, brought them out from under lock and key, and now we're putting them in there, and we'll see how they do. But they haven't been there that long because in, uh, we've been under lockdown. Uh, dinosaurs sell super well, big dinosaurs like that. Um, I think we got 1995 on them, and we probably paid a couple bucks for them. So, and this is all going to be changed too. Some of the stuff I really like in here, and other stuff I could just throw in the garbage. It doesn't really, you know, work for me. So. We're trying to get rid of stuff more than we're trying to sell stuff, and that's that's an issue. That is the issue that you have to try to break. So, and you know, if you look back, it's it kind of looks okay overall. These things, I don't know why they haven't sold. These are really nice lamps, especially when you look at them nicely up and close. I thought yeah, they were really nice, but nobody's really interested. In it. Lamps are a little bit hard to sell, and you don't want to fill it up with stuff that is hard to sell, no matter how good it looks. But uh, overall, it's okay. But I would say 75% of it is okay, and 25% is going to make a huge difference of what that looks like. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, Steph and I were starting to go through this, and I thought, you know what, we got to put this on video and let people know how we how we deal with it because it is a constant struggle trying to figure out what should go in there, what price it should go in at, and that kind of stuff. All right, guys, the battery died. But anyways, that's going to give you a, a bit of a an idea of what Steph and I are going to do to the booth. Um, I hope it's not too repetitive over yesterday's booth, but it kind of explains more on the process of running a booth. And that there's a lot more than just grabbing items and putting in there. Sometimes things don't sell. Um, I think a lot of stuff, if, if we really wanted to, we could fill it up with a lot of things that would sell. We could price it properly. But the problem is... Uh, especially when you go to auctions, you always end up with different things. And sometimes those things sell. So do you throw them out or do you take a chance to put them in your booth? And then over time, eventually, the stuff that doesn't sell starts building up. And then you got a booth that's half full or a quarter full or a third full or whatever you want to say filled with stuff that doesn't sell. So you have to kind of go through it. And that's what we just did. And we're explaining to you our thought processes on on, on cleaning up a booth. So we're down till May 22nd, which is absolutely horrendous. It's a lot longer than I was anticipating. I was hoping we were done by the end of April. And it looks like we're going to be closed now to at least May 22nd. Um, so we're going to have to spend a lot of time in the booth during this time to make sure that when we're up and running, things start selling to make up for this lost time so anyways uh, check out our live show every sunday 8 p.m eastern standard time and that's going to do it see you sunday till next time this is antiques and profits mm -hmm.